for Storm Track Weather Forecast. I'm meteorologist Crystal Cly. Look at our storm outlook for today. We do still have that slightest chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Notice that light green shading. Now, it has pulled a little farther to the east. Notice areas like the Boot Hill of New Mexico no longer under that threat. And this is not a high level threat. In fact, it's not even on the chart of our higher level conditions. But we are looking at the possibility of a possible possible pop-up storm rather as we move throughout the day. On your future track model, here's what we're looking at. Mostly clear conditions, then we move through to 2 p.m. We see some scattered clouds along the eastern edge, a little spot of green here indicating maybe small showers developing over the Sacramento Mountains. That continues primarily in that area through 7 p.m., although I am not going to rule out that one of these could shoot off or help pop up another storm in El Paso or Las Cruces. Again, just a 10% chance. Those showers continue overnight into your Friday through to 9 a.m. in the morning, mostly just clear. And Friday, yet again, we will have that 10% chance. Your exclusive wind cast for today, 5 to 15 mile per hour winds, gusts up to 25 miles per hour, a little breezy. But with any thunderstorms that develop in our vicinity, we could see some higher winds in our neck of the woods. So just a heads up, you could see from time to time some breezy to windy conditions. On your rain Cast for the next seven days, 10% chance of rain today, but that lasts through your Friday, Saturday, even Sunday, Monday. Then chances finally drop off here Tuesday, Wednesday, and we do get very hot into early next week. 85, the temperature for us in El Paso today, tonight, 65 degrees, 10% chance of showers. In Las Cruces, 84, with 60, the overnight low and mostly clear. Let's check in on your seven day forecast now. So we are seeing 80s today, bump up to low 90s Friday. There's the 10% chance of rain that hangs on through Monday thanks to some surface heating and low level moisture available to us. We've got 90s over the weekend and then Monday, Tuesday next week all the way up to 98 degrees.